Hello guys, today we're gonna have a look at another very awesome Windows operating system which is Windows 98 and obviously this one got released somewhere in uh, 1998 and it brought a lot more uh, features so it was kind of an updated Windows 95 but with tons and tons of new features and most of them most of them were really really useful for uh, all kinds of users I guess so let's go ahead and start this and see what what we get um, so first off we got this splash screen which looks a lot better than Windows 95 in my opinion uh, also Windows 98 got some improved USB support so you could plug in mouse keyboard so yeah it was very useful and Windows 98 also came with an upgrade to the Internet, Internet Explorer the first edition came with IE 4.0 while the second edition uh, included IE 5.0 and you gotta admit that this is probably the best staring sound from uh, the Windows operating systems I really, I really like this one alright so going back into the full screen mode give me a second to play with the resolution a bit alright so okay let's go ahead and see how did they modify Explorer because they really changed it and it's really better than Windows 95 Explorer so go ahead open up my computer and we can see that now we have this uh, this uh, sidebar here we have back and forward buttons the up one level button which uh, and also a cop cut copy and paste undo delete properties and the views so basically you could just go with details or small icons yeah so it looks pretty cool also we have an address bar now so if we for example want to go to a specific location like let's go ahead to the windows folder just gonna type that in and brings you right here and it also got got this uh, left sidebar here giving you the name of the folder you are in also the icon and at the same time for the Windows directory it displays you this warning telling you that you know these are important files and you could just screw up your system if you do something wrong and it gives you the option of showing files so you can see the contents of the Windows folder obviously <clears throat> alright so uh, let's see what else we get here oh yeah uh, so this is pretty much the Explorer window uh, oh yeah yeah forgot about this we can go to the folder options and we can have it web style so yeah it looks and acts like the web so you can go ahead with single clicks and stuff like that but we don't have, we don't want that now you also got this which looks pretty similar to the current um, folder options okay so let's see <clears throat> about the Explorer window I guess we cover pretty much everything looks a lot more professional now and this um, layout of Windows Explorer was kept all the way around until Windows 8 you know so Windows 8 has the same uh, layout basically so let's close this and let's go ahead and see a very nice feature that Windows 98 and, uh, gave to the users and that is Active Desktop. So basically this one allows you to use an HTML file as your background. So that was pretty interesting, you, got, you gotta admit. And Windows 98 has a HTML file by default 
which can be set as background tells you that you need to enable active desktop click yes and here we have this basically is a is a, an HTML file in the in the background and this is a hyperlink so if we click this it basically opens up the browser and it goes to the um, Windows update but they removed it so yeah oh yeah talk about the Windows updates uh, just give me a second we'll go to the default one so talk about Windows updates uh, Windows 98 included on star button the Windows update button so this one's very user friendly and for the first time you can finally get your updates quite easily just clicking this button unfortunately uh, yeah internet is not working on this virtual machine but still uh, Windows removed uh, or better said Microsoft ended uh, support for Windows 98 and Millennium Edition in uh, 2006 July 11th if I remember correctly so you can no longer get those updates and basically they recently totally removed them so they are unaccessible now through this button here this does nothing in uh, today so that that's pretty bad but still you can find those updates somewhere on the internet from different websites you know okay so let's see what else we got here um, give me a second let me remind something Oh yeah, we got some better floppy disk drivers which increase the speed. And yeah, oh yeah, let's go ahead and see Dr. Watson. So now probably you wouldn't notice much, but right here in the system tray we got Dr. Watson and this is pretty much a de debugging program which is very useful when you're wanting to collect information about specific programs you know like you want to know why why some specific program crashed this was very useful so yeah we can go ahead and th that's gonna run in the background every second so it collects information about most of things happening in your PC so we can just go ahead right click it and exit Dr. Watson alright we also got the magnifier but apparently I can't find it uh, where is it? Should have been in the. Uh, yeah. So I can't find it apparently. For some reason, I guess um, that comes only with the. With some sort of update, I don't know. But I remember having it on my old PC, so definitely is included. All right. We also got. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Um. Yeah, talk about Notepad. Now you could just basically go ahead and set the font. So you can do this right now, and you can see it changes the font. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, we also got a FAT16 to FAT32 conversion utility. So you no longer need to format your drive when you are doing this conversion and I believe it's somewhere somewhere right here uh, system tools yep drive convert so this one but we don't have anything to convert now so I'll just click cancel alright we also got the alt tab feature give me a second to open some windows you know so we can toggle between um, alright so we have three windows open now we can go ahead and use the alt tab to you know toggle between them which is pretty nice um, yep so, oh yeah, we also got the MS config. Let's see if it runs. Okay, good. 
Oops. Okay. So we got some features here. You can change them. You can also view the auto execute dot bat, which uh, is pretty much something similar to the startup folder for Windows NT based operating systems. You can see this batch file right here, and basically you can put a bunch of uh, uh, executable files here to be run at startup and this uh, file was used by uh, malware to you know run once your computer starts so yeah this is the MS config which got improved in later versions of Windows and it's still there okay I guess we cover pretty much everything about this operating system I can't remember anything else right now. So, yeah. And that should be it about it, I guess. So, oh yeah. I'm just gonna mention this once again. I swear this is the best screensaver that Windows 98... That Windows family has. It's not gonna let me do the full screen, unfortunately. But still this is awesome you, you see that rat some sort of lame uh, lame uh, image file but still it's very awesome alright so thank you guys for watching this was Windows 98 and Windows 98 and Millennium Edition are still kinda moddable so you can basically um, bypass some certain limitations you can also install some uh, versions of <clears throat> programs that can run on Windows 2000 and XP. So that helps a lot. You can do that by installing some custom software. We're gonna see about that in later videos because we're gonna go ahead and you know mod this uh, virtual machine a bit and see what we can get. And we can definitely improve Windows 98 a lot. So just, just as I mentioned, this was the second edition, and the second edition pr pretty much just brought some stability fixes. So there is no not re no really a difference between first edition and second edition except the stability issues. So thank you guys for watching and see ya.